Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. New GB support, Gladiator support in 2024, or you know, by the time we might be getting this in 2025. And um, the, the new support is actually fantastic. Um, um, there's a couple of generic combos, I guess, but I think this is the most notable one. Um, Eva gave me inspiration. We'll leave a link in the video description. Um, so that definitely cool. So um, the new one, this it's basically revealed itself to special summon itself and another GB in hand. So that's already a huge uh, plus because you know how it goes with the GBs, especially the higher level ones, they might be stuck in your hands. Um, so immediately putting up the pressure plus when it's summoned off of a GB effect that then includes itself, you can search basically any GB spell from your deck. So again, fantastic. This could search a new field spell. The field spell is okay, but it brings you maybe in an awkward position. Um, it doesn't do anything on its own, as in, well, you can search basically any GB card, a monster for example, by discarding a card. So that's okay, but you need to discard a card. And I mean, you could say, but that's not too important. It might be because of Heraclino as well. Uh, to negate the spell or trap, it also needs a card to discard. So this deck lacks uh, one card, super one card list like Snake Eyes, right? You, you can run half of the deck non-engine and uh, because of your one card combos you can do so much. Um, this deck is still somewhat combo oriented with two or two and a half, half card combos. Uh, so that was basically the generic end board of what was it, uh, Shurag, Banishing, uh, Double Monster Negation, plus Heraclinos to discard, to negate Spell or Trap. And uh, the new fusion is uh, you can use the materials from your graveyard as well, it needs GBs, just generic GBs. Uh, keep in mind your Tamer cannot be used as fusion material, that's important. Uh, but, and that's important. that's the important part, is that this new fusion, upon summon, by you know sending back five GBs from grave or whatever back to the deck, uh, pot of Everest basically, you can get a second battle phase during your next turn. <laughs> a second battle phase for GB, and it actually comes up, can come up. Uh, but important, as soon as your opponent what is it summons a monster, after that you can special summon or cheat out another fusion from your extra deck. So Gazarus, for example. Keep in mind, Gazarus can miss timing. That's important. But here in this case, it's just to trigger Shurag during their turn. So that's nice. Uh, and that's the thing here, right? Like, you're playing GBs, the, the deck still has those 2 slash 3 card combos. Uh, it can play through hand traps. It let, it's less vulnerable to, you know, Azure Imperm on Test Panther, right? As it was before. So it has more options. Uh, this is one of the new cards. What is it? Test, Test Bear, I think the name is. Which. Uh, in theory, it sounds so solid, but in practice, it feels mediocre. Feel there are situations where, okay, the, the big restriction is, is that you can special summon it from your hand. If you control a GB monster, special summon from the deck or extra deck. So an extra deck monster or, you know, here in this case, Endel. Because of, you know, unexpected die and so on. So that's cool. But in theory, it's like, if your opponent has Ash, they will Ash that, you know, tribute itself as it is with, with GB. And you're losing two cards against your opponent's one edge, so that's already somewhat awkward, but if it resolves, perfect, it special summons two from deck, which is kind of disgusting. So the very same combo, got Imperm, but this is fine, so go for Shurek, Reborn again, it's basically not once per turn, all of these effects, right, your monster Reborn, your uh, Tamer, get Heraclinos on field, make sure that you at least, you know, have one card in hand to negate the spell or trap, a crucial talents or something like that, that's important. Super Poly, it does not negate. <laughs> So the Super Poly is a problem. Uh, Predaplant hits the field, so that's already another monster negation for them. But I still have a couple of you new know, negations. The field spell is there, so that's all fine. Uh, I let the effect go through, so I'm not able to special summon something from my extra deck. No banish off of Shurag. But I still have a monster negation and the trap. You know, the trap is basically a bigger Icarus attack. So we indeed negated something. What did we negate? I missed that. Wow, it's, it's okay though. So um, a couple of fusion summons, but the, the deal, the big deal is, is that all of these GB fusions that you're able to get on field relatively easy, they all are big, <laughs> big, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> big guys. What is 3k attack and even more? Like that field is not threatening. Uh, and we still we can now use the trap um, and then dodge in the little knights. And now it's just get out the monster negation. This should be more than enough. Reborn, what is it? Uh, a quest, abusing a quest. Uh, use Shurag, banish the Kaleido, use talents, and you know, go for it. That's so cool. Also, the new support needs one GB, well, most of the card like one GB, and then one generic monster, which again is fantastic. 
so you know, reuse a quest, uh, go for the new one, search a spell, really nice. What is it, Rejection? A continuous spell, also one of those cards that feels super awkward. Okay, it gives your GB's protection from targeting, okay, that's cute. And when special summon from deck, you can special summon something. But here in this case, it's super awkward because now the card on its own, it does nothing. Especially going first. So it's one of those cards that I might cut. But when it comes up, it's like, eh, yeah, I need it. Yeah, it feels awkward, right? So we can establish our board. The problem here is, is that uh, you lose to any other hand trap. And that's a big deal with rejection as well. Death Panther is not a GB card, like, for whatever reason. Okay, it's Death Panther, but you know what I mean. Just make it a GB card, and then it gains those beneficial effects not being able to be targeted, especially when Rejection is on field. So we played through... Uh, did we? I think so, right? Uh, I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. We played with Heraklinos. Uh, I mean, every deck is running Imper, right? Uh, uh, don't, I think Veiler uh, is... is uh, has uh, these more people are dropping Veiler for other cards. Uh, so, it, I mean, going for Heraklinos probably was a better play, because again, with the combo, we can just put Heraklinos next to other stuff. And it basically protects ourselves from Imper, and Ash was already activated. So again, get balanced. Um, so that's why Heraklinos is there, for the spell and trap negation. We imp no, uh, we uh, Little Knight for dodge. Uh, ah, okay, this is a, a bit awkward. I thought I was like, ah, make a big brain play and banish you, Bill. But they can still go for the field spell, which I overlooked. But the cool thing is, is that imagine them having the, the continuous spell. Um, the, what is it? Dominus can redirect attacks. So worst case scenario, I'm losing, or at least I won't lose that much life points if they, uh, you know, with the continuous field spell, they want to go for OTK, right? Attacking into my monsters. But this, this is all fine. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, this is also fine. And yeah, this is also fine. I'm like, yeah, that, that's all okay, how are you arting my big monsters? All right. So this is all cool, uh, uh, what are the interruptions still? Uh, yeah, you can potentially go for a Link Summon during my turn, okay, but I still have a monster negation. Uh, yeah, okay, damage, yeah, okay, you can go for a rank 6, that's cute, but that's not going to do anything, <laughs> it's not going to do anything. We draw a quest, always the one offs I mean, it's fine though, it's still a, a monster that can be normal summoned, so here in this case it could potentially upgrade it to any of the GP monsters, right? So we negate, and this should be more than enough. Uh, special summon from deck. Uh, what is it, the uh, Augustus? Special summon from hand, a quest, get something back. Uh, again, a quest was needed, so that's already nice. Tamer to reborn, or special summon something else, go for the GB link to reborn. Yeah, again, making sure that, what is it, that you don't control a, a beast warrior. The last one is fantastic, going second, and uh, the thing is, is you can definitely build GB going second. The problem is is that um, it's, it feels just the worst standby, you know, Tenpai does have those one card starters, combos, while GB doesn't have that. So it feels mediocre, right, for Lightning Storm, Droplets, then again, Droplets aren't needed. Uh, there's no space for null Charmies, I, I just don't find the space for those. Um, so two Field Spell and one Terraforming, because of this example. Uh, because, you know, terraforming can be dropleted, or used for droplets. Uh, but again, going second. Uh, so, you know, GB is going second, getting the sixth card, and of course getting the battle phase. So using their GB effects. The thing is, is that nowadays you're just giving your opponent more ways to interrupt you. So I'm not so sure about that, that you always want to go second. Here, uh, you know, the counter trap is there, but I was like, um, yeah, this is fine. There is no, um, what is it? Uh, Centurion phase up, so you can't negate my droplet, right? If I uh, droplet and especially, you know, discard a monster. Uh, so we get impermed, that's fine. On what is a test bear, uh, we can go for the new GB. And th the thing is, is that this new GB, if your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon a GB from deck or grave. I mean, I had the GB in grave, but because of the new fusion, you could just leave the, the GBs, the names in graveyard, to potentially pot of average them for the cheat fusion. Uh, so now it's just. What is it? Yeah, use the battle phase, that's the thing, right? Use the battle phase, tag out, and go from there. So go for Dominus first, so I can have a, a monster effect negation, because we know the Pistil is there. Uh, reborn, eventually for Tamer, right? And then go for Gizarus, yeah, Gizarus is still there. Not running Bestiari, so so, so strange, right? OG, uh, GB, did run, uh, did run uh, triple Bestiari, right? Or two, or three, but Prisma. Anyway, so Augustus, go for the level four, send some, basically fueling the grave. And then this is cool, 
Um, keep in mind that if for this turn, you can only Link Summon because you use the new GB one, right? Link Summon using GB monsters and Test Panther is not a GB. <laughs> Uh, it does come up quite a, uh, quite a few times, but it is what it is. So it's Surge Attract because of the field spell. Um, this this is, has so many interruptions, right? So sick. You have the, the free little knight, two monster negations. Yeah, I have the extra deck summon for potential Heraclinos if I had something in hand. Um, talents again. It's always talents. But this is okay. We can redirect field spell because opponent attacks. You can special the GB from deck. You cannot destroy the battle to tag out. I mean, the monster effect negation was still there, so this is all fine. Um, yeah, we monster effect, etc. Go for Heraclinos, just a big beat stick, and this should be more than enough to uh, well, go for a game, basically. So this new support is fantastic. So feel free to leave suggestions, but I'm I'm excited. I'm really excited. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a quarter like if you enjoyed the video. Leave me a sign out. Peace.